I think he can take him far. And I know this might sound, you know, a little far-fetched, but if you look at Nick and, and where he's come from, you know, how hard he's worked over the years, I think he's a confident guy. I think he's different. When he took over for me in 2012 after the concussion, he was a rookie. You know, he stepped in. He played consistent, but it was sort of, you know, inconsistent, if right. that makes sense. Right. But he was still in the learning process. Now, fast forward to now, He's had a ton of experience. You know, he's been in St. Louis, had some tough times. And scored 20 on it. You know, it, it hasn't been clean for him, but, you know, I think he's a guy that he can step in as long as he's confident, as long as he step in, steps into the huddle and show the guys that it's not going to be a, a drop-off. I think Doug Peterson has to take it upon himself to show the team when installing the plays and installing the offense that it's not going to be a drop-off. Everybody will feed off of that, but... You know, in the grand scheme of things, Nick can go out and erase all the bad memories from 2014, his last year with Chip. Mm -hmm. What the Philadelphia Eagles fan base see, of, see in him and what he can do, it'll be a drop off from Carson Wentz because he covers up a lot of the things that, you know, the problems that they may have or things that may surface. But at the end of the day, I think he'll give them a chance to go deep into the playoffs. Super Bowl, I don't know. It's one game at a time from here on out. Mm. So... How amazed were you, how shocked were you when he took over for you, replaced you because of injury in 2013? Yeah. He goes on this run. He goes 27 wow. to 2. Yeah. 27 touchdowns to two interceptions. Did you keep watching thinking he's going to come back to earth? Like, How could I forget about the 2013 season? One of the seasons where I, you know, was, I was so tuned in with, with Chip Kelly and what we was doing as an offense, but... Nick stepped in, you know, 27 touchdowns and two interceptions, played phenomenal football, and, you know, he, we had momentum. And I think he feeds off that. I think he understands it. I think he gets it. And he's been able to sit for a year. He's been able to watch Carson uh, make a lot of plays. And sometimes you, when you learn vicariously, when you sit back and watch and you're not out in the field, Shannon, you know being hurt or not, just not playing in general, next time you get back out there, you appreciate and you sever every moment and you try to make the most of it. Mm. When I look at Nick, for all of you, you look at it like this. <clears throat> Case Keenum in Minnesota. Everybody thought they, uh, they thought, oh, Sam Bradford's done, they're done. But Mike Zimmer put Case Keenum into the lineup. They ran the football. Look, and what happened yesterday, they turned the ball, Skip, they turned the ball over, what, three, four times? And still almost had a chance to win the game. It took an outstanding play from Cam Newton. Oh, you mean the Minnesota, Minnesota, yeah, against, Minnesota against against he, Carolina. He turned, Case turned over Case, three times. Yeah. And that's the thing. Mm -hmm. If you don't turn it over, you have an excellent chance of winning this yeah. ball game. And I think that's what Nick Foles need to do. They can run the football. You think about yesterday how they ran the football, Skip. They were almost like six yards a carry for over 20, uh, 26 carries. That tells you they can run the football. When you can run the football, now I can play action you. I'm going to get one-on-one -on -one coverage. Guys will be wide open. Mm -hmm. They don't need to ask him to do a whole lot. He's heard this verbiage in Kansas City. Doug Peterson got the job. He brought Nick Foles with him to Philly. He knows this offense. He understands this offense. They got talent around him. They do. Alshon and Torrey and Clement and Ertz will be back. Burton, the running backs with Jahi. What, uh, I don't think Blunt played yesterday, but we know what he can do. And defensively, Skip, mm -hmm. they still can go hunt your quarterback. Mm -hmm. They will hit your that's quarterback. Where that's where they can beat you. And that's the thing. Carolina, offensive line, a little suspect. Minnesota, okay, can you protect? Can you hold up? Because they're going to hit your quarterback. Jim Schwartz is going to put him in that wide nine, that cowboy front, and he's going to say, go get the quarterback. Mm. So all through 2013, I kept saying, He's going to fall apart. He's going to fall apart. And I figured you were one play away from being back in the lineup, and it just didn't, didn't happen. happen. He just kept making play after play. He's not the most athletic guy, though he has some mobile. Some. Mm -hmm. yeah. he, he came in yesterday, and the yeah. first play, he, he takes nah, it right up can, the middle for nine yards. He can move now. He can move a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, can, I, I mean, he's not enough. immobile. Yeah. For a guy his size, enough. I mean, you don't think about a guy yeah, being 6'6". Six, six, six. Six, six, six. Is, is he legit 6'6"? Six, six? Th he's what a they legit 6'6". Six, six. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so I want you to describe who this guy is that you would see in the meetings or in practice. What's he, what makes him tick? Who is he? I think he's a calm demeanor guy, mm -hmm. but I think he's really smart. I think when he's in tune with the game plan, he understands it. Then if the defense gives him what, what he's looking for, he'll take advantage of it. He's not a guy who's going to make errant throws or, or get erratic. 
And I think he has enough leaders around him in Jay Ajayi and Alshon Jeffries to mm -hmm. continue to push hard when things may a, get tough. He's not an emotional guy. Yeah, he's not an emotional guy. guy. So he can be the guy that can still lead the team, can still lead through, by example and through his play, and, and, and still position this team so they have an opportunity to win the game at the end. Did you get along with him even though you were competing? Oh, uh, yeah. He was a great guy. He really? was a great guy. He helped me. I helped him. Uh, even coming in as a rookie, he was able to, you know, shed light on things that, you know, in the quarterback room you look for. Some things that I didn't notice, some things that uh, Matt Barkley didn't notice at mm -hmm. the time. And I just thought it was a good quarterback room. I know they have a great quarterback room now and talking to some people. Uh, so, you know, I reach out to Nick. I, I want the best for him. You know, I think the, Steel and the Eagles Nation really has yeah. to get behind him and support him. How big is his arm? How would you rank it? It's like scale of one to ten. He can throw it a mile. Yeah, yeah. He, can throw it, I mean, he can throw it a long ways. Uh, I don't, he's a little older now. I don't know if he's as strong as Wentz arm, um, but he can make all the throws. It, I, like I said, I don't think it, this is a situation where Doug Peterson scales back the offense. Mm -hmm. I think they continue to do the same things that they've been doing all year long. Don't change because the guys will see that, and then, you know, you don't want them to go into a shell and start feeling like they got to play, you know, complacent or, or conservative. Hey, the throw he made yesterday, you want to talk about clutch? That game I is That was a clutch throw down. Hey, third that's and huge. eight. That and I mean, coming off the bench. And, and that could be coming a momentum bench, builder. That. That's a momentum builder Ooh. as well. But you think about this, Skip. They ran the ball 32 times yesterday, the Eagles did. 32 for a buck, 39, four, yep. a 4.3 average. They still had 41 pass attempts. So that just goes to show you, when you can run the ball, now I can play action you. I'm going to have guys right. wide open. Because you got, what are you going to do? You got, if your front seven can't stop the run and you can't play yep. coverage on the back end, Nick Foles is going to have a field day. I believe he, he's smart enough. He's been in this game long enough yes. that he understands the thing that's the good, what makes Tom Brady. Tom Brady can already, he can get off script. But he's getting a good play into a great play. Mm -hmm. He's getting a bad play. Tom Brady will never allow you to get him, put him in a bad situation. Mm -hmm. And that's what Nick Foles has to do. When you come in, you have to make sure you never get into a bad place. Yeah. Or if it's a bad play, you're like, mm, I don't like this. Let's get out of this. Let's go to something good. Because all you have to do is just stay on. Get me back second and 10. Don't get me back second stay and 13. Course. Don't let me. Don't let them get the ball out if we miss an assignment. Mm -hmm. You should have slid left, but we, we went right, and the guy hits us in the back. Stay on rhythm. Stay on course. I like what this team has. I like but, the makeup. But, but I think when Nick Foles lay down at night for the rest of this week and throughout the rest of this season, he has to visualize the opportunity to win a Super Bowl. Yeah. You know, yeah. th this is a chance of a lifetime. You take over a team with good offensive weapons, a mm. good defense. It is. And all you got to do is come in and do your mm. job. Hand it off. Make the plays. Don't hurt the game. Mm. You have a chance to win a Super Bowl. He's like, yeah. That's an unbelievable opportunity right now. He's like, this is, I got some bugs. That's an unbelievable opportunity. I got some more bugs. I wish but it was me. I'm looking at all these bugs, <laughs> but the biggest bugs I got coming into my building the last game of the season. Mm -hmm. I can make sure. Mm. Cowboys. Oh, I can make sure they going home. Get going home. Do, do you remember what the skip. Cowboys did at Philly in 2013 in his magical run? Remember when they went in there and won 17 to three, and Nick Foles scored three points? Remember that? I was just throwing that. Out. Yeah, that was. That's, that was then. Yeah, now. Is now. Is now. <laughs> okay. Hey, Fletcher Cognum, did you see all those hits they got? Boy, it's vicious. Mm -hmm. that, they coming. Did you do you remember what happened Sunday night? You did you see that game that 37-9? Wait, who didn't play in that game? Well, he'll get a chance. Huh. He'll get a chance. Sean Lee did he'll get not a play. Chance. Oh, Jay Jahi. Sean Lee's a difference maker. Yeah. I will say he that. He is. Thank you. Yeah. He's a difference maker. Done deal right here. What they got, what they Man, got it, should be, it should be in them notes somewhere. What, what they got to do with them nine points they scored? Yeah. He play off it? Mm. Oh, yeah, he well. So that's the reason old, old, old Wins got hurt, huh? Well, Sean yeah. Lee was playing. Well, you mm. got to you gotta find ways to get the ball back into the hands of the offense. So okay. Sean Lee is a guy who can do that. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to find out. Yeah. But we already, we division champs. I need my T-shirt. Fly, Eagles, fly. We. Flock. <laughs> we flock it, Skip. Yeah. You, you did pick him to win the division before the year started. I remember. I know who you picked. Yeah. I know who I didn't pick to make, make the playoffs. Can you tell the people at home who I didn't pick? Did you predict that Sean Lee was going to miss I didn't predict game? I didn't predict Carson Wentz mm. was going to get his knee hurt either. Uh, oh, man. since we're not predicting things. The realities of the NFL. Realities <laughs> of the NFL. Michael, thanks for joining us. Mm. Do the Cowboys look like a playoff team? Mm. We'll discuss that next. Mm. Win.